Good afternoon. Today I would like to take a moment and just focus on, uh, the Bible calls it the unmarried state. We often use the word single. And I want to talk about being single and being whole. You know, the status of singleness in our society places a lot of pressure and certain expectations on a single male or single female. Uh, the Christian who is living out uh, their lives in a state of singlehood should not be governed by these pressures and these e expectations of society. Paul encouraged uh, the single state as not a state to be despised, but a state to be embraced. In 1 Corinthians 7, 8, Paul said this, now to the unmarried and the widow, I say, it is good for them to stay unmarried as I am. Notice Paul uses his own status as a single man to encourage others who can uh, operate in this manner to join his state of singleness. Now, there were some things going on that in that time that was a challenge due to the persecution and other issues in the culture that Paul was considering in making this statement as well because having a family would bring on certain other responsibilities and that would have been a great difficulty during that time. And so he encourages the unmarried and widow to uh, to remain in that state of being. But he goes on in that particular next verse, he talks about those who cannot operate in this manner or have the necessary self-control, he encouraged them to marry. The challenge with Paul's suggestion is that in our present culture and in our present context, the choice to marry are not married carries various conditions, such as finding a mate of interest, availability, and trustworthiness, and so on. However, as a single Christian, you have some wonderful graces that God has made available for your life. And I want you to embrace that. You see, being single is not a state of being that you should look at as something to be despised. Paul said in Philippians 4 uh, that I have learned to be content in whatever state I'm in. But I want to leave with you today that I believe these three graces, and there are many more, but three that becomes very uh important in the single Christian life. The first grace I believe that you have is you have a personal relationship with a heavenly father who is willing to relate to you even as a friend and this relationship is the highest and most honorable relationship that you get to experience in the earth. And so embrace that relationship that, that your Heavenly Father loves you and cares with for you and you, you should never think that I'm alone or I don't have anybody. You have the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords who even himself said, I no longer call you servant in John 15, but I call you a friend. The second grace I think you need to embrace is that you have God's personal helper, the Holy Spirit that God has given you. And the Holy Spirit is there to help you in all of your successes. He's there to help you in your struggles and he's there to help you in any sufferings you may experience in your life. Sometimes singles think, well, when I get ready to do some, you know, I don't have a helper. I don't have anyone to help me. Well, I want you to embrace this truth 
that as a single Christian, God has graced you with a personal helper, and that is the Holy Spirit. And the other thing I believe that God has graced you with as a single Christian is that he's graced you with a personal family called the local church or the household of faith. And in this particular grace, God provides you community. You have a community of people that is available so that you can have uh, God-honoring relationships connections, genuine love. So I want to encourage you today to know that you are single, you're not a half, you're not missing somebody, you're not incomplete, but you're whole. And God has graced you with his loving fatherly care relating to you even as a friend. He's given you a personal help of the Holy Spirit and he's placed you in a, to a community of believers called the church. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for that single Christian, that unmarried Christian father today, that they will begin to look at their lives not as being incomplete, not as being half, but being whole. That they are fearfully and wonderfully made by you, God. And you are their heavenly father. You love them, Father. You've given them a personal helper, the Holy Spirit, and you've placed them in a local church, the body of Christ, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Enjoy your single state.